Hello everybody, Thrived here, and with this tutorial and probably a few tutorials following this one, I will show you how to build a giant moving base. That one over there is a work in progress, built by that guy, Biohazard. Well, mostly built by him. I built some of it, but uh, yeah, the design is by both of us. Well, I don't know, most of this awesomeness is from him. Anyways, um, I'm going to pretty much start off by showing you how to build a six dimensional motor. To give you an example, I should leave that on. Jump out of here is the best example. And it's kind of hard to see, but if I stand still, it is moving one block at a time. And occasionally, when you're standing on just panels, you can fall through the floor. Uh, it's not very often but it can happen. A uh, way to solve that is by putting regular blocks on top of the frames and that will hold you in place perfectly but anything you put on top of those blocks will of course not be anchored. So that's something you have to keep in mind. This is a basic setup. I'm not too concerned about using up a lot of space here because the link size for the red power configuration on this server is a whole bunch of nines so I'm not restricted to the 1000 block limit like the default rules say. Anyways, what you're going to need is a total of 12 frame motors and a whole bunch of frames and you can find the recipes using not enough items. Also battery boxes, solar panels, the, uh, the flat solar panels, those ones, and uh, whatever type of panels and covers that you want and I'll go over the difference for that later, but that's not for right now. For right now, all you need to know is that you can build this closer together. You're going to have to use frames down here, and then you're going to have to have panels on top of the frames to keep everything in place. And that's not anchored at the moment, that's just there, so I can go over there really quick. And, uh, yeah, you don't need battery boxes here, you can just have these... Uh, these cables, blue alloy wires or something to transfer blue electricity into these. But I'm just going to use battery boxes because that's my favorite way to do it. These aren't powered now, but that's going to happen later. Anyways, as you can see, for every one of these, I have this here and then one next to it. This is going to be for the power supply for the other motor later. For right now, all you need to know is this frame motor and two frames in front of it covered up in panels and you have to have another frame here and that's for something else that we'll talk about later. The first thing I'm gonna grab four more frame motors because for every direction you need two frame motors six directions twelve frame motors and I'll show you really quick with my sonic screwdriver if I have that facing towards the base right now as you can see and I shift right click it flips it around and when it's facing this way it the arrow is going on away from the base so that's something that you have to keep in mind so when we're setting this up I like to make it face the top so I don't have to fiddle with it to start out with okay for the bottom ones as you can see they face the arrow faces towards the two frames that are in front of it the one that you put on top of that oh and one in every direction. The one that you put on top of that faces away from these two and then shift right click. Now it's facing the right direction so this frame motor will push this one forward and then once this frame motor is sitting here it will have a signal coming towards it to make it move all of this stuff in the other direction which will put it back in place and also one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is when this is up here it's not really going to be anchored by anything because the arrow is on the bottom right now so it's not going to be anchored into the ship so if it's one forward you're either going to be stuck in place or it's going to move out of place so that's something you don't want and since I'm going to have something there later I'm not going to use that frame but you can anchor it like this this will keep it anchored in place and as you can see right here as it stands it's not anchored in place so some more there 
So now, no matter if it's standing there or in the forward position, it will be anchored so you will not be stuck in any direction you're moving in. Um, this is my favorite frame design, or my favorite engine, motor, whatever you want to call it, design. There is a very compact 6x6x4 uh, six by six by design, but I tried it out and it really wasn't very nice to me. It got stuck occasionally when the engines were all out of whack. Uh, I just didn't like it. So this is my favorite way to do it. So remember, as you're placing these, they face away. Shift right click. This doesn't take me long enough to have a cutaway scene, so... There, they're all in place. Now the next step, at least in my opinion, you can do this in whatever order you want, but this frame here, that's why it's there. A battery box to power this frame motor when it's up here. You can power it when it's here, there's no problem with it having power back there, but with the battery box there, it's not anchored in and I have to do another way to anchor. Uh, I just don't want to deal with that right now. I can do that later when this is all set up and built and I can fiddle around with the extra room that I have, but for now this is good enough. So battery box, battery box, battery box. And I will anchor all these in place and this is going to take me long enough to cut away. So I will be right back. Alright, we have the frames and the panels and make sure these are panels, not covers. If you do accidentally make covers, I mean like here, if you take a panel and split it again, it becomes two covers. You can take covers, put them back together, and make a panel. So, anyways, um, I have everything in place. These are all going to be anchored. The next thing I want to do is have the redstone signal working. And in case things get stuck, I usually like to have a timer here. Set that to three seconds. Timer here. Three seconds. And what these are going to do, when this frame motor is pushed forward, this will activate it to push everything back. And the reason I have a timer here instead of just a toggle latch toggled on is because in case we get stuck by anything or in case it doesn't have enough power for a minute, like Right now it's not getting any power, so it won't receive power until it gets there. And it won't immediately have enough power, it'll have to gain it. So it'll take a couple seconds to gain the power, so if it was just on, it wouldn't move again. It would need another signal. So why did I put that there? Timer, three seconds. Timer, three seconds. And at the bottom, might as well just have toggle latch toggle that so now when I flip that on and that has power that will move forward so the next thing we're gonna need are these solar panels and also these cables and these are the blue alloy cables so I'm just gonna do a very temporary setup here and also wait until day so we will be back okay we're back and uh, good thing I cut the video because that actually took me a couple hours I couldn't fit that all into one video <laughs> so uh, yeah I didn't do this but I did that but that also happened a lot of development on the bigger ship so it looks really cool it kinda looks like a shark when I'm standing over there I think anyways this is the general design for this, kind of more circusy. I don't have enough rubies to fill this all up with panels, but whatever, you can use anything you want and also put the solar panels out anywhere you want. I know I said I was going to do a temporary setup, but I lied. So what you have to do next is lay down some solar panels. Boom. Boom. And yeah, the uh, they transfer power to each other so you don't have to worry about cabling each and every one but here's where I'm going to use the cables I do have battery boxes but I don't want to put them here yet and tell me what you guys think of this color I have green sapphire copper for a nice orange red and then lapis down there uh, I think it looks nice but I'd really like to hear 
your opinion. I try to make everything look pretty good, presentable. Oh no, I'm falling. Here we go. This should, yeah, there it goes. Starts charging up. And might as well get rid of that. Oh no. And that's not going to go into there even if I put it up like that. This isn't going to get any charge. One. And boom. Boom. And there we go. That keeps on getting its charge. And I'll close that up. Take this wire. And I need to grab some more. Oh, they're over here. And I'm not going to cut this out because this is a good excuse for me to sh and that's not the right thing. Uh, just a minute. Anyways. That's my awesome aerial faith plate. And uh, sorry I cut that out, but it took me a while to find these wires. So over here. So yeah, I'm going to cut the video now and I'm going to wire all these up. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, everybody, the battery boxes are all pretty much getting charged, except I forgot that I didn't do the up and down motors yet. So you're going to have to have one facing up, the arrows facing up, one the arrows facing down, and the one facing down has to be elevated by at least two. The one facing up can be at the bottom. They have to get power, so over here I just hooked up some battery boxes like that, and that is anchored in place by that right there, so I don't have to worry about it and these two are anchored in place. Well, that one's anchored in place by that one. That one's anchored in place by the floor. One thing that I didn't mention earlier is that you might think that you'd be able to just, you know, put cables up there into that battery box, but this cable also has to be anchored just like a battery box, so that doesn't help at all. So, anyways, also <laughs> another thing I forgot to mention, for some reason uh two of the directions probably won't work and I already fixed them both on camera but it retakes you know um, you're gonna have to right click to switch the arrow in the other direction if it's not working and you know everything's anchored in so I'll give you a quick example I push this forward and even though this timer's going off this isn't pushing anything because it's trying to push everything in the wrong direction and it can't go there like if it was going the way it wanted to go, it would end up where this timer is. So what you need to do is take a screwdriver, right click it twice, and boom, it works. So that's that. Back to this. Uh, there are my motors. Same idea here. Um, these aren't going to flip around the way you want them to, so you want them to face the uh, two frames and one of them you're gonna have to click a lot of times because it's gonna take a while now it's finally in place place this one and it's facing towards and then do the shift click and it should yeah it's in place because those are both on the same sides those are both getting power but this is not yet so I'm gonna grab panels need hover mode There we go. And what I'm going to do here is battery box and battery box. I kind of want to have one there. Should I? Yeah, I will for now. Tell me what you guys think. I'll probably get rid of this. At the very least, I'll make it red. But uh, that's all I can do for now. I don't have enough rubies. I have about six, and I used to have quite a few stacks. <laughs> Anyways that will be anchored in place. Now I only have to power one of them. Now we'll do that like this. Yeah, I'll definitely cover up that red just because I like the uh, changing color. This will snake down over here for now and go up there and that will give all of those battery boxes a little bit of power. See, that's getting it. So let's try this out. 
this one already has a switch there and now it has a switch there turned off I move it up and oh, now it has enough power there we go perfect and yeah you notice these lights turn on when it has enough power so it still has enough so I can move it up immediately move everything and yeah as I said sometimes you do fall through the panels but I'll get into more detail onto how to fix that and make it look good and everything later. Okay, this is not running out of power. So, yeah, this, I'm not, not even going to try to make that run out of power. These have power, and right, I did not anchor that in place. And this is only anchored in place in one position, so I should have that there anchor that in place I'll cover the rest of that later and this will have to be anchored in place we'll take it out of here put that there alright as you can see I just put the frame above it and there is a frame below it so it will stay anchored in place when it's up there and when it's down there so can flip these. These do not anchor onto surfaces that the arrow is facing. There we go. And that stayed perfectly in place. And that's the six dimensional moving. Basically cabled up. I'm going to make it neater later. But everything is working. And I'm going to set up better controls later. Have a little tutorial for that. And uh, please leave comments. That's the one thing I appreciate more than likes and subscribes, which I also appreciate very much. Hint, hint. So, I hope to see you guys soon, and I will be back with more tutorials. This is just a little mini-series that I really need to get out there because it's so amazing. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it, and I hope to see you again.